Did you just ask me to shut up? Make me. <laughs> Holy shit, I've always wanted to say that. Oh god. I need to not. Someone run me a cold bath. Wait, wait, okay, hold up. Hold on, here's here's a better one. <clears throat> Bite me, daddy. <laughs> okay, so you're okay. Hold up, hold on. Don't don't look at me like that. Just let me explain this for one for one goddamn second. Okay. You're a modern vampire who knows about the existence of Twilight and fan fiction, and you somehow did not expect this? Come on! You might be the one looking to suck me and suck it dry, but I will admit that I'm a thirsty bitch. If that's not evident enough already, you can go through my O3 history. On second thought, don't. You might be scared for life. Scarred for life? Scared for life. Or death, I guess. I guess it also depends if you're the type that sparkles. Wait, you don't... you don't sparkle? I've been lied to my whole life? Okay, actually, no, it was more like since middle school, but you get what I mean. What's the point of being a vampire, then? No, you don't get it. Sparkling is like the top-tier attribute of vampires. Being immortal sucks ass, and being super strong and stuff just means you can open a water bottle without help. Which I can't. Wait, that's actually a good advantage. Holy shit, I never thought about it that way. No, you shh. I'm trying to think here. Do I want to die in the arms of a hot vampire, or do I want to become one and do cool shit? Of course, I'm not in it for the immortality. Again, like I said, immortality sucks. You see, everyone you love die, and if you don't love anyone, which is kind of... It still sucks because you gotta deal with people shit. And by people shit, I mean anything from, like, breakup to you to, like, World War II. Imagine starting a war because you're an angry little man who can't deal with being rejected from art school. Just do what everyone else does! Drugs! Oh, trust me, people still wash their kids' mouths with soap. But sometimes you get cases like me, where it makes it worse. Can you really blame me? I'm a touch-deprived, attention needy introvert with social anxiety who can't imagine a semi-realistic, stable relationship or fathom the idea that someone could genuinely love me with all of my flaws. Hence, fanfiction and YA novels and fantasizing about highly toxic relationships that probably involve an age gap and healthy dependence and only a facade of emotional security. I mean, it's not like I want something like that. It's just the belief that I don't deserve anything better. The only reason my feminism goes poof in the face of quote-unquote romance novels is because I crave the idea of someone who won't leave me no matter what, even if they're the worst possible choice for me. I mean, like, what if they are the only possible choice for me? I'm oversharing, aren't I? Yeah. In any case, now that I'm in a situation like said quote-unquote romance novel, I'm tempted to try changing you, even if that obviously won't happen. Actually, don't even give me the chance. You'll probably dump me. And I mean literally. Probably into a gorge or off a cliff. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Can you at least cremate my body once you're done sucking my blood? I wrote in my will that my friends can only get their inheritance once they've stored my ashes. Dead ass, yeah, I wrote that. It's called being Gen Z. So, you gonna kill me or what? Aw, you're letting me live? Don't tell me it's because of my quirky charm. No, really, don't tell me I'm quirky. That brings back so many cringy memories of why I insert fanfics. I'm already getting more flashbacks. Oh, it's because it's, uh, yeah, 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 no, that's, that's fair. If you were looking to sacrifice someone pure of heart, that definitely ain't me. Spent too many hours searching up enemies to lever smut and hot damn, I may be a virgin, but my eyes aren't. It's, it's a lot. Anyway, thanks for letting me live. Well, half things, it's a missed opportunity, but I'm sure I'll run to someone who will step on me someday. Uh, Lady Demetrisk. I wish she'd slice me in half with her fingers. Bye-bye now.